I did it. I did it. I finished all of the, um, what's it called, the Oscar Ooh. movies uh, with The Darkest Hour today. I uh, watched at home uh, on my computer while well, I played 2K because I don't care about the Oscars. Cause they really do. Um, I watched it. Um, it's it's good. It was good. Um, I had a, you know, a lot better than Dunkirk. Like, you know, this one kind of had like a story. Um, so that was interesting. I finally understand what was going on. Like, I know because of, you know, world history and everything, what happened at Dunkirk. But now, like, in a movie sense, like, I get it a lot more. Like, this is definitely my... If you, like, what's the best, if you were to ask Adam, what's the best movie about Dunkirk? I would not say Dunkirk. I would say The Darkest Hour. Um, who's Joe Wright? That's the director. Um, I don't know. I think I know him, but then again, I don't think I know him. Uh, but yeah, so this movie, it's like a guarantee. Oh, this guy, he made a bunch of boring crap. Pride and Prejudice, Atonement, Hannah. Okay. Oh, wow, and he directed Pan. What an idiot. Okay. Yeah, so that's the kind of guy we're dealing with here. Um, and uh, everyone knows that Gary Oldman's going to win Best Actor for this. He won the Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Drama. He wore a bunch of makeup, and he shouted a bunch and made a lot of speeches. And normally that equals Oscars. Um, except it didn't for David Oyelowo, Oyelowo, Oyelowo when he did Selma, which I thought Selma was the same exact movie. Um, type of movie, you know, same frame, same skeleton. Um, um, this was, uh, this was pretty good. <laughs> like, I don't know, I didn't love it, uh, but like, you know, I, I wasn't sitting there like, oh, when is it going to be over? It kind of flew by. Um, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of boring, um, because it's about history. I don't know, I'm not into history. I know some people are like, oh, I love history. This would be the best movie ever. And I'm like, okay, good for you. Honestly, but like, how can you like... I just keep thinking about how anyone could, like, like Dunkirk. Like, I'm watching this movie, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, Dunkirk certainly looks better. But, like, it's so boring. And this one, at least there's, like, dialogue, and you get to hear cool speeches, and you get to hear the debates, and the, you know, the whole, like, oh, man, what's what's more important? Is it more important to save the people? Um, like, is it worth it to save the people if you're going to um, appease a, you know ruthless dictator and um like should you fight to the end if it means sacrificing people but like you know if you sacrifice to hitler then you know you're not even you know the same country anymore so you lose a self sense of identity so like that was all cool um you know food for thought like you know it made me think i was like oh man well you know the guy the bad guy's not really wrong because he's like oh i just want to save my people and, you know, the, the good guy's right because, you know, we know now that Hitler, you know, sucks. Well, they knew Hitler sucked, but, like, you know, we know, like, that was the right call. Uh, but, like, you de you're definitely not like, oh, man, what a dick wanted to make people feel safe, be safe with, the, you know, a peace treaty. Wow, what a dick wanted peace. But, you know, um, so that was neat. Oh, um, yeah, it's going to be the best actor. Should it? I don't know. I don't care. No. Ugh. But, like, honestly, should anybody else win? Should Timothy Chamelet win for touching Army Hammer's dick? Should um, David Oyelowo win for crying um, in a horror movie? Who are the other two guys? I bet it's... Oh, should Daniel Day-Lewis win for being the best actor alive? Uh, or what's the other guy? I'm pretty sure there's one other guy. And it's going to be something... See, it's... Oh, yeah, it's Denzel Washington for a movie that literally nobody in the world has seen i'm pretty sure the people who made the movie didn't even watch it a roman j as israel or whatever i have no idea wow it's a really weak acting class this year i think i don't know well just for me personally because like sometimes i agree with the oscars like uh, you know my pick uh for um best actress had like you know like um francis mcdormand you know i, I think I'm just going to say, yeah, Frances McDormand is my pick for Best Actress of the Year. And, you know, she's probably going to win the Oscar, too. And that's great because, you know, like, she deserves it. Um, but, like, honestly, like, I don't know. Why do we have to give Oscars to boring, like, boring old people movies? I think it's just because, like, you know, people, the voters are really old and they, like, live through this stuff. So they're like, oh, man, I remember that when I was a kid. Oh, when I was a kid. I used to eat ice cream. I love ice cream. I'm going to vote for The Darkest Hour. You know, and I'm just like, 
Like, it's so, like, it's nice. It's a nice little history lesson. It's a great movie to watch at school. Um, but I'm never, I'm never ever going to watch this again. Um, and, uh, yeah, good acting all around. You know, Gary Oldman did a fine, very, very fine job. I think, you know, him, he's deserving of an Oscar, though, just because he's so great and he's done so much. And, you know, um, it's about time he wins. Uh, but other than that, this should not win Best Picture. Uh, it won't win Best Picture. I think it should win Best Hair and Makeup because, you know, he looked like an old fat man. Which, like, that that must be tough, I guess. I don't know. Um, other than that, though, I really don't have any many opinions. I'm going to go four out of five just because I'm surprised that, you know, I wasn't shit. Um, the same guy made Pan. I just want to point that out. The same guy who made this movie made uh, the dumb Peter Pan movie. So, um, when it, like, whenever you think, you know, oh, man, this Oscar caliber movie was made by the guy who made Pan, which I didn't even see Pan. Well, I saw all the Oscar movies. I might watch The Florida Project just because, you know... Oh, it's my duty because I'm from Florida. Why? Why is that a thing? Why are people like, everyone's like, oh, you see the Florida project? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, but you have to. You're from Florida. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know? I I have to now. I guess. Like, why? Yeah, it was shot, like, it's shot where you live. No, it's shot like an hour and a half away from where I live. It's some crappy hotel. I don't need to go watch that, you know? And I, whatever, though. Um, But yeah, other than that, Darkest Hour looked it looked nice that that's not like an insult saying that like dunkirk looked better it's just dunkirk looked amazing um but yeah uh congratulations on your best actor win that's about it four out of five i'm done with oscar movies and i'm so happy because i hate them and i'm gonna go watch pitch perfect three now bye